Hello my fellow Freedom Builders and welcome back to the channel. As you know, if you have followed me for a while, my purpose with this channel is to teach you how to build a good solid financial future for yourself and your family. And today's video is about a completely automated strategy that was used back in the 80s and that was part of a very uh, exciting experiment that was run over four to five years and uh, it was called the turtle traders. So the video today is about the core concept here and at the end of the video I will tell you the exact precise rules that these turtle traders used to go from zero to a hundred million dollars in earnings in just four to five years. I know it can sound a bit clickbaity, but it is actually uh, true and it was verified and I'm going to teach you all of it today. I'm also writing here without thinking and that is of course uh, because my entire approach here is to teach you some automated strategies that can be followed without thinking. We want to keep our emotions out of the game and therefore we want some rule based strategies and that is extremely important when things go the wrong way then we need to have our rules so we can just execute our trades without having to uh, dig into our emotions and see how we feel. We want rules, that is what makes profit. Now the Turtle Traders was started as an experiment by a guy called Richard Dennis. You might remember him from my video the other day about trend following because the entire video today is about trend following. If you haven't seen the video, I will link to it below, but basically trend following is you have some criteria where you're saying when these criteria are met, we have a trend. That could be up, it could be down, but if it is up and the trend is there, you go long no matter what. No matter what you think the market will do, you follow your rules. And Richard Dennis, he was a very well-known trader back in the late 70s and beginning of the 80s where he, I think it was as 26 year old, made his first million dollars trading on the exchange. So he was not some wannabe guru only making money uh, selling courses or something like that. He was a real deal and a million dollars at that time was quite a lot of money. So Richard Dennis is known for saying, I always say you could publish rules in a newspaper and no one would follow them. The key is consistency and discipline. And the Turtle Trader Projects, I'll not go into in depth with all the details and all. You can read uh, the book, The Complete Turtle Trader. Uh, and I'll also uh, show you a link to a website later where it is all described. But uh, the Turtle Trader Project was a combination with Richard Dennis and his trading partner, uh, William Eckert. And they were discussing if it was possible to take a complete novice, a, com a, per a person that didn't know anything about trading, teach him Richard Dennis's uh, rules-based trading and let him lose on the trading floor and make the same amount of money. Uh, and Richard Dennis, he had his rules and uh, he put this ad in a newspaper and actually in three or four different newspapers where he said that he was accepting applications for pos uh, position of commodity futures trader uh, to expand his established group of traders. So he put an ad in the newspaper saying, I want people that have never traded before. I'll teach you everything. Just follow my rules. Um, and then he wanted to see what was going to happen. And it was, this was not some five years university degree. He trained these traders for two weeks. So that was simply to make sure that they understood the rules. And then he funded them with uh, somewhere between, I think it was a, a half to one million dollars each. And uh, then they traded with his money. And they got to keep, fifth, uh, I think it was 15% of the earnings and uh, he kept the 85% which you could say was fair enough. He put in the money, he put in the knowledge, they simply just traded. And uh, it was a huge success. Almost all of the traders made a ton of money. So let me just show you what it was all about. I found this website called originalturtles.org. I will uh, link to it below. And uh, in here, there is a, uh, a PDF file down here, Turtle Rules, and I'll show that to you today. It is right here. All right, now it is the right size. The original turtle trading rules. And um, that is one of the turtle traders that has published this PDF file 
telling you all about the rules, all about everything about it. And you can see uh, there's also a description of the, the project. So this is one of the real turtle traders describing what this was all about. So what you could say is that it is actually fairly simple. The strategy, uh, there are some few components here. That is what to trade. It is position sizing, it is entries, it is stops, what we normally call stop losses, and it is exits. And the rules are fairly simple, and as I said, they are all very well described in this PDF. There are some of the details I won't mention here today, but you can dive into them yourself, because there are a few uh, um, variances uh, depending on how risky you want to trade. So let's just have a look at the first one, what to trade. And we dive into this uh, PDF here and we go down to the what to trade section. Here we go. And as you can see, and that is the thing, uh, the case with most uh, trend followers when they are using uh, futures trend following, that is they're using a broad a specter of different markets because if you for instance only are using the stock market then you can have a period where uh, the stock market goes sideways in for instance a year or two years and you're not really able to make any money because there are not really any trends but if you have a, a great specter of, of uh, different markets you can see here they use some uh, some bond markets, uh, 30 and 10 year uh, notes here. They used uh, coffee, uh, cocoa, sugar, cotton. They had a lot of currencies. They have some indices. They had uh, gold, silver, copper. They had uh, crude oil, heating oil and unleaded gas. And these were the markets they were trading. So there were pretty much always a, tr uh, a trade available for them. So that was the universe they could trade in. Now, the real deal here, the, the real, the essence, the core here that actually made the difference is position sizing. And I know you might think, well, position sizing, isn't that a bit boring? I want to know when to enter and when to get out. I just want the rules. And to be honest, uh, when I'm out having a speech for some potential traders or, or I'm, I'm having a class somewhere, it is very clear to me that what people comes to get is they want rules. They want to know where to enter, where to exit. But as Richard Dennis said that the, at that time is that is actually the least part of the system. The, the most important part, and that has been a, a great inspiration to me over many, many years, that is the position sizing part. So I'll not go 100% into detail with the position sizing, but uh, I have made some videos about it before. What he says is that the amount of money you should put in each trade depends on how volatile the market is. Let's just have a look at a chart for All right, here we have the uh, 30 years government bonds. That is one of the markets that Richard Dennett was, Dennis would ask his uh, turtle traders to trade. Now, uh, what they used at that time is what we today call ATR or average true range. I have mentioned it in a couple of videos, but what it actually tells us something about is how volatile the market is. And uh, what he wanted to make sure was that the more volatile the market was, the uh, smaller positions the traders were putting on. Because he wanted the traders to take the exact same amount of risk on every single trade. That is so important that I'll say it again. He wanted the traders to take the exact same amount of risk on every single trade. That is what I'm, I'm telling everybody in my videos that you should not just put $5,000 on each trade. You can have one stock or one commodity going like this in a trend and you can have one going like this in a trend and you are taking a lot less risk in this one and a lot more risk in this one. So a very volatile instrument, you would put on a, a very small position because you need to put your stop loss up above these huge swings. Whereas in a trend that almost doesn't move, you can put your stop losses very, very closely to your entry because there's not much risk uh, for being stopped out. So what he was teaching, and he was one of the first traders using this principle. Today, all long-term profitable traders are using some sort of position sizing. But what he taught the traders was that uh, they could only risk 
one percent uh, on the initial entry on on the on the trade. Then they could add on some uh, some position. I'll get back to that in a second. But it was all controlled by how volatile this instrument was. And the ATR here, you can see how many points that is. Uh, we have a point here where uh, the, the instrument is almost not moving. And we can see that the average true range, meaning the average movement from day to day, is extremely low. And then all of a sudden we start to see some more violent moves here. And that makes the ATR go up. And that means that Richard Dennis would say, then you can risk less or at least a, a smaller position per trade because you need to have a smaller position to only risk 1% of your capital here. So he was one of the first traders saying that the position sizing, the risk management is crucial if you want to have long term success. And that is what I'm using today. And that's one of the reasons why that no matter uh, sometimes I have five or eight losers in a row when I'm trading stocks, well, I always have money left to trade tomorrow because I never risk my entire capital. So the uh, the the exact rules here are described. Uh, the average true range is described here and uh, they're describing how they are adjusting uh, the, the amount of dollars they could put in. Uh, and there are some examples on this here. I'll not go into details. Uh, what he also said, and that is a, an important fact I, I often stress to my student is that, let's say for instance, that you invest in five different stocks and you're thinking now, I'm very diversified now. Well, if they, for instance, are all gold mine stocks, then you're not diversified at all because they're all in the same sector. And that is, uh, he was talking about units. I'm normally talking about uh, the letter R for risk unit, but that doesn't really matter. A unit or an, an R unit is the same. But he said you can only risk a certain amount of percentages in a single market. But then again, you can only risk a bit more in closely correlated market, meaning that if, for instance, you're investing in gold and silver and copper, they are probably moving some somewhere like uh, the same. Uh, so you cannot just put 4% risk in each of these markets because they move almost simultaneously. Loosely correlated markets and single direction long or short, uh, they could risk up to 12 units or 12% of uh, their entire capital uh, every single time they were involved in the market. So that is something I really recommend that you sit down and you read closely this part. It can be a bit confusing, but that is how it is uh, sometimes. It's not already, always a, an easy study. All right, let's get back to here. We have what to trade, we have position sizing, and now comes the thing you're all waiting for. What are the entries? All right, let's go to the entries. All right, we are at the charts here, and we are again at the US government bond 30 year here. And what we can see is that we have put a couple of bands on here. Right now, the ATR is not important. We'll just minimize that. But right now, I have put something on here called Duncan Channel. And the Duncan Channel was named after a guy called Duncan uh, for his last name. And you can find it here at the uh, indicators and just search for Duncan, um, Duncan channels. So why is it? It is extremely simple. Now, the blue line here, as you can see, is 55 days length. Now we'll, uh, sorry, we'll just have a look at the daily chart here, of course. Um, but that is 55 days of length here. Now, what does that mean? It means that at any given point, this blue line tells us that this is the lowest point the, the price had been for the last 55 days. Now, as you can see, when it makes a lower, a lower tick down here, the blue line follows because now this is the lowest point for the last 55 days. And all of a sudden it starts going up and you can see right now it is up here, but the blue line is staying down here because this is still the lowest price the, the price had been for the last 55 days. But all of a sudden, 55 days have gone, and now the lowest point is this point. And a bit later, the, lower, the lowest point is this point. So this always counts 55 days back and tells us what is the lowest price. And of course, the upper part of the channel is the 55 days high. 
So what the, the entry rules here, there were two different variants uh, in the, the Richard Dennis system here and the traders could choose uh, system one, they could choose uh, system two or they could choose some sort of combination. But what it said was that when we hit the lower band, meaning that when we reach the lowest price for the last 55 days, we go short. And that, that's how simple it is. He said, when we are at the lowest price for the last 55 days, we are in a downtrend, so we go short. When we are at the highest point in the last 55 days, we must be in an uptrend, so we go long. That's it. Now, as I said, there was also a variant of that, and that was for the bit shorter term uh, traders. Let me just see. And that was a 20 day. So you can see that is a bit of a more narrow band. And uh, that was when the stock or the, the instrument hit the 20 day low, they went short. When they hit the 20 day high, they went long. That's how that was. That's the entry rules. No magic, no uh, whistle and bells, no nothing. If we are at a low point for 20 or 55 days, depending on the system, we go short. Are we at a high point? We go long. So if we look at the rules here, the entries, he's, uh, he's describing that here. A shorter term system based on a 20 day breakout uh, and a one on the 55 day breakout. And that was it. And I know that and then there are some rules as to when they could add to the trade because they actually used something called pyramiding where they are adding to the trade when it goes in their direction. And that is one of the things that often very uh, consistent and very profitable uh, long term uh, trend followers they do, they add to the position. Normally, I don't do it in my own trading, but uh, it is something that can really make your winners extremely profitable but also you add to your position and that means that when it goes against you you can quite quickly eradicate your entire uh, profit so it's a bit of a temperament uh, thing and i want uh, more uh, a bit smaller winners instead of these once in in a once in a while very large uh, winners but that is how it is you can read the rules here um, and you can you can read about the results as well. So that was the entry. Then there is a stop, and the stop is simply based on uh, that is what they call an end based uh, stop, and that is what I told you a second ago that the stop is based on the ATR, meaning that they're saying how volatile is this uh, instrument, and then we are letting our stop be set uh, at a number of points uh, away from, from our trade, uh, depending on how volatile the instrument is. Is it very uh, a very little volatility, then our stop will be very close. If it is very volatile right now, our stop will be far away. So that was how they put the stop in, and that is all described in the file here as well. Uh, I just want to say right now that there have been some tests as to if the turtle rules are still valid, are they still profitable? And some say, yes, they have found them to be profitable. Some say, no, they, the market has changed. It has become uh, faster or slower or more efficient or whatever. Uh, uh, so I don't, I don't want you just to take these rules and just copy them into your own account uh, because you, you would want to adjust them and test them for yourself. Uh, but there are several YouTube uh, videos out there uh, testing if these uh, still, if this uh, rule, uh, rule still work. Now, the exits. If you have a trend that really runs, then we have an exit on. And uh, let's say that we just choose the uh, 55 days uh, uh, Donkey channel again. We would uh, go short up here. Let's just put an arrow in just around here, we would go short. Now, the the exit here uh, is what you call a trailing exit. And we just add this one here. And that means that um, they put a, a 10 day uh, Donkey channel on. And when that one is breached, you exit the trade. So let's say that you hadn't been stopped out. It could easily be that you were stopped out, uh, uh, but you were not in this case, I'm pretty sure. You enter here and your stop would be somewhere up here. So the trend starts to go in your direction 
and uh, they would be adding to this trade uh, when it went in their direction. And as you can see, the upper, the 10 day Duncan band here is following them down and they're all down here. They have made a ton of money and then all of a sudden it goes in the other direction. It breaches the, the Duncan channel and then they exit. And in this case with a profit. That is how simple it is. You go short here when the 55 days band, a lower band is breached and then you stay in until the 10 day uh, upper band here is breached again. Now uh, let's see if we can find all the trades because there will also be losers uh, here. You can see the upper band is breached, they go long, but they will pre pretty much be stopped out immediately. They can go long here being stopped out. And that is the essence with these um, trend following systems that works in this manner. That is that uh, they often have uh, fewer winners, but the winners will be very, very large. So uh, the test I have seen of this system is that they have around 30 to, uh, to 35% winners, meaning that you're only winning three to four out of every 10 trades. But the winners, because it doesn't matter if you only have 30%, you can have 10% winners and 90% losers, as long as your winners are uh, 10 or 20 or 50 times as big as your losers, then it doesn't matter at all. I made a video about that called positive expectancy. You should see that if you're, uh, if you don't know what, what that means. But this is basically the rules. Um, this is the, the exit. Um, pretty easy. And, um, then there are some tactics, tactics of how to, to enter, uh, trades. There was some uh, thing about if the market was running really fast, then they shouldn't, uh, uh, then, then they shouldn't try to catch up with the market and, and try to hunt it down. If it already had moved, they should let it go. So there are some rules about that, but you can all dive that into that. This is a file. It's only something like 30, 30 pages long. And what we should know is that these 13, 14 traders that were the turtle traders, they, they, it was a very leveraged trading. So it was, you could say it was high risk, but of course the risk was under control. And as long as they traded with Richard Dennis's money, they were on average, as far as I can have been able to, to dig up, um, they were able to make something like 80% in performance per year. Now 80% per year is something that most traders can only dream about. And I know that if you search the internet, there are a lot of algorithms and traders that promise you 50% per month or a thousand percent per year. But believe me, 80% per year, if you can keep that up, you are more wealthy than Warren Buffett in a few years. So, so 80%, you should maybe not even aim for 80% because you would be taking on a lot of risk. I mentioned that in the trend following video the other day that these trend followers Many of them have actually been able to beat the market, but they have taken on uh, quite a lot of risk as well. So what I want you to do is that uh, you go to the website. I put a link to that below and this file is down there completely for free, uh, 30, 37 pages here and um, read it and see if you can get inspired. Now, if this inspires you and you think this is actually right for you, I will recommend you to go into the uh, trend following website. It's just called trendfollowing.com. I'll link to that below as well. And uh, Michael Carvel here is uh, one of the, or he is the guy that made this Turtle Trader project well known all over the world. And his book has been translated to, I don't know, pretty much every single language. He has his, his big, a big break of a book here, Trend Following. That is a fantastic book. And they go through a lot of the basics, but they also go through a lot of the, uh, of the, of the very successful, uh, trend followers in the world, uh, managing billions of dollars. Um, but I also recommend that you read uh, this one, The Complete Turtle Trader. Um, it mentions here how 23 novice investors became overnight millionaires. And that is because as far as I can tell that Richard Dennis, he started the turtle traders in two different, uh, teams uh, at two different times. So he started out with around 13 traders and then he added someone uh, later. So this one is also a very, it's a quick read, but it is very motivating. And especially for some, for someone like me and maybe you that is going for rules based trading. This is. I believe what you have been searching for. 
So as I said, I'll put all the links below and uh, these turtle traders, they actually, as I mentioned, managed to go from zero. It was not completely zero. I think the start was something like a million dollars uh, of Richard Dennis's money, but they, uh, they amassed $150 million in profits in just a few years. And they were to keep, keep the 15% the of Richard Dennis and it had kept uh, the rest $130 million, something like that. So that was quite an okay project. And that was to me, a proof that trading can be taught and that the best possible way for make mo to make money for something like you and me, amateur retail traders, that is by having a fixed set of rules. It doesn't have to be turtle trader rules. That was the, for the futures market. I'm using uh, another set of rules and I'm using it for, for the stock market, but that doesn't really matter. The rules is the important thing. You need rules so you can detach yourself from your emotions. That's pretty much all for now. If you haven't done already, remember to subscribe to the channel. That means a lot to me. Take care of yourself and your money out there. Bye for now.